my name is Angela and I'm going to do a review and ring reveal on a product called Diamond Candles. Now Diamond Candles I heard through Facebook. It was kind of an ad that would I would see all the time uh, at the top of my news feed and I had seen that some of my other friends had liked the page. So I clicked onto it and clicking onto that page turned into probably an hour or two of YouTube videos surrounding the product. So the product is diamond candles. Each candle contains a ring. The ring could be worth anywhere from $10 to $5,000. I would say the majority, a good majority of the rings that you will get are $10 rings. Now, not to say that it's not possible to get one of the higher end rings. If you go to diamondcandles.com and you go to their, there's a little link for their Pinterest page, go to Pinterest, they'll have a board and the board is for people who have gotten rings that have been worth $100 or more. And it's really cool to look at those because it kind of gets your hopes up thinking maybe you could win the ring lottery, essentially is what it is, and get a ring that, you know, is, is actually worth something. Some people have said that the price of the candle is expensive and, you know, the rings are cheap. But my opinion is... The candles are $24.95, I think, and um, the ring is kind of an added bonus. And the candle itself is 21 ounces. It's got a pretty good weight to it. I had purchased the Apple Slice. I don't know if I've said this already, but it's a soy-based candle. So when you watch the ring reveals, you see people dipping their fingers into, I don't even know if you could call it wax, but they're dipping it in and it's not sticking like normal wax because it's not normal wax. It's soy. It's very oily. So I did buy the apple slice. It came very, uh, you know, not quickly, but not slow either. I don't know. I got it in a week. So I thought that was pretty good. I opened it up and smelled it, and it smells really, really good. Uh, just like it says, it smells like an apple. Kind of reminded me of a Macintosh apple from Yankee Candle. Not to compare candles to candles, but it was similar in that in that regard. So I was really excited and I started lighting it. Uh, I had a cold at the time, so I couldn't smell it. And I thought it was because I had a cold. So I'd asked my husband after quite a few hours of burning if he could smell it and he couldn't smell it either. So I burned it down enough. I still had a cold at this point, burned it down enough to get the ring out. Now, you know how far your ring is based on a gold sticker and that's right here so i think i started up around here so about eight hours later it was down enough far for me to to pull it out um i have that all on tape which i actually messed up i had two cameras going i had this camera going but you can't really see what i'm doing so i had my phone going and i forgot to click record on my phone. So you get to see that. But um, you do get to see the ring and it was really cute. Uh, but yeah, so I got the ring out and it was really exciting and it was fun. And then uh, a couple days later, my cold was pretty much gone. I lit the candle again and I still now, even now I can't smell it unless I'm directly above it, which I have heard of people having that kind of problem with their scent. I'll still burn it, obviously, because I like candles, but it was kind of a bummer that I couldn't smell it. I did buy another candle, though, because I I have heard so many good reviews about diamond candles and how people have put them in their upstairs and they smell them downstairs and vice versa. So I ordered the cupcake. I ordered it last Friday, right before the holiday weekend, which is probably why I'm having a hard time with the tracking right now. Um, it's Wednesday. I haven't gotten it yet. I wasn't... I wasn't expecting to have it by now because I didn't upgrade the shipping. I'm assuming I would have it either by the end of the week or the beginning of next week, but because I can't access the tracking information, it's kind of hard to estimate where it is and how much longer it'll be before it gets here. I didn't have that problem with the first candle. Uh, it pretty much updated every day. I did call FedEx. Um, everything's on there and they don't even have the tracking number in the system. What they said is it looks like the shipper used the number 
but that they haven't used the number yet. But I've gotten an email from Diamond Candle saying that it was shipped. And if you go on the frequently asked questions section of their website, there is a question where it says, why is my tracking information blank? And they say it could take a while for you to get your tracking information, if at all. And um, if you've gotten the email that is saying that it shipped, then it shipped and it's on its way. When I get the cupcake one in, I'll do another review of that specific candle. And I'll do another ring reveal with that candle as well. You'll see the apple slice candle ring reveal. And then um, when I get the cupcake one, I'll burn that one down. And I will um, show you that ring reveal as well. Okay, so thanks. <laughs>
So it's a band. There is marking, but I think, I think, it just says China. But that's fine though. So, I think it's a seven, because it fits there. So, there you go.